Go woke, go broke. I've been a big believer in this mantra, convinced that lefty corporations, especially in the entertainment industry, are increasingly out of touch with real people. I mean, nothing summed up the gap between the deplorables in Hollywood and honest, hardworking, ordinary folk than this week's unsavoury Oscars ceremony full of uh, cruel jokes about, quote, crazy white women, sexual harassment of two male presenters, and then an onstage assault of Chris Rock by Will Smith, who won an Oscar minutes later to a standing ovation. Uh, no company represents this shift more than Disney. Disney, of course, once the flagship product of family entertainment. But these past few weeks, it's taken a disturbing trip down the rabbit hole of far left identity politics. Far from being representative of modern society, which is what we all want, of course, Disney is now pursuing an out and out agenda of hard left identity politics, critical race theory, a gay agenda and over representation of minorities. This plan from the home of Mickey Mouse was revealed in a leaked company wide meeting. Don't worry, I'm going to share you the lowlights called Reimagine Tomorrow. Uh, the most significant pledge, I think, came from the general entertainment president for Disney, Karen Burke, who revealed that 50 percent of all Disney characters will now come from underrepresented groups from the so-called, wait for it, LGBTQIA plus community, whatever that means, or racial minorities. Watch. I'm, I'm here as a mother of, of two queer children, actually, um, uh, one transgender child. Um, um, and one pansexual child, um, and and also as a leader. And I hope this is a moment where, shoot, um, the fifty percent of the tears, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> are coming. Um, uh, we don't. We just don't allow each other to go backwards. Okay, so let me get this straight. Fifty percent of all characters will now be gay, trans, or non-white an obvious overrepresentation. Let's just look at the facts. In the US, the non-white population makes up 24% of Americans, according to the Census Bureau. And estimates vary, but according to the Williams Institute, there are believed to be 4.5% of LGBT folk. Uh, in the UK, approximately 14% of non-white folk and just 2.7% identify as gay or lesbian, according to ONS figures. Uh, but real representation doesn't matter anymore for Disney. The leaked call made clear this is part of a new gay agenda. Uh, listen to executive producer Latoya Ravenu on Disney's plans for children's programming. Our leadership over there has been so welcoming to like my like not at all secret gay agenda. And so like all that like momentum that I felt like that sense of I don't have to be afraid to like Let's have these two characters kiss. Let's in the background. This are, like I was just wherever I could, just basically adding queerness to like. The, if you see anything queer in the show, I'm proud of them. But like I, I just was like, no one would stop me. And at Disney's parks around the world, uh, those little places of joy, gender, now a thing of the past. Here's Disney's diversity and inclusion manager, Vivian Ware boasting about eliminating all mention of boys and girls. Last summer, we, we removed all of the um, gendered greetings in relationship to our life skills. So we no longer say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, we, we've trained, we, we've provided training for all of our, our cast members in, in relationship to that. So now they know it's, it's hello everyone or hello friends. And we don't want to just assume because someone might be um, in, in our interpretation, maybe presenting as female, that they may not want to be called princess. So let's think differently about how do we really engage with our guests in a meaningful and inclusive way that makes it magical and memorable for everyone. I mean, this is just ridiculous, isn't it? It's ridiculous. How many blokes want to be referred to as princess? This all comes as Disney publicly opposes Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' parental rights and education bill, which limits teachers giving lessons on gender and sexuality to children under the age of eight. Now, there's been a lot of fake news around this bill. Let me just repeat that. Teachers giving lessons on gender and sexuality to children under the age of eight. Now, DeSantis lashed out at Disney's hypocrisy yesterday. Well, and especially, Tucker, you got to wonder, like, why is the hill to die on 
to have transgenderism injected into kindergarten classrooms or woke gender ideology injected into second grade classroom. Why is that the hill to die on? Meanwhile, if we had done a bill that prohibited uh, talking about the abuse of Uyghurs in China, Disney would have supported that legislation because they don't <laughs> want to say a word about that. So it's just an odd manifestation of their corporate values that they actually do Disney cruises, Tucker, to the nation of Dominica, which criminalizes homosexuality. So they're fine doing that and lining their pockets. They're fine lining their pockets from the CCP and all the atrocities that go on there. But it's those kindergartners in Florida that they really want to have transgenderism uh, as part of their core curriculum in school. Now, DeSantis has got a point. Not only is Disney trying to represent an unreal woke world, they're also being deeply hypocritical, given their links to foreign governments whose human rights records are appalling. I repeat, go woke, go broke.